today I'm going to be watching Thompson and Treasure and Big Strong Henry at night. Spongebob reference. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing this at night time. See? Dark outside. And, um, ignore the noise in the background. I can't remember what that white thing is called, which is making the noise. So I'm just going to call it a heater for now, but I, I can't remember what it's called. So yeah, I'm going to be watching Thomas and the Treasure, which I haven't seen in years, and Big Strong Henry, which I haven't seen in months. And I got Oliver here with me. Let me, let me. There we go. You can see him more. Whatever. Let's just react. Thomas and the Treasure. Brendam Docks is a very busy place. Engines it's always busy. Big Mickey! And ships bring visitors. One day, Thomas had to collect a very important visit. That Thomas was to take the Admiral to open the new Maritime Museum. I remember having a DVD to Thompson Treasure. So, this is like a nostalgia, a nostalgic episode to me. Pirate Treasure of Sodor, he said. Pirates, scoffed James. Treasure. Treasure. Yes, said Sodor. Why are James and Emily pissed, though? Salty told them there were three clues. First, find the eagle of the mountains. Its beak will point to the clouds, not in the sky. Then, those eh. clouds will lead to the skull and crossbones. And there, you'll find the treasure, me hearty. I never noticed this. Have you ever noticed that Salty has poop on his buffers? I'm sure I could solve those clues. Emily and James thought it was all nonsense. And that made Thomas cross. Well, that's because they're pricks. They're the biggest pricks in the show at this time. Well, I meant... Okay, James and Emily were... Plus Gordon were the biggest pricks um during these seasons. Nowadays, it's mainly James. And, I guess, a Diesel. Wait, did you collect them? I wasn't even paying attention. What if I arrive with the Admiral and the chest of pirate treasure, thought Thomas? That would show James and Emily. So Thomas chuffed onto the track away from the museum and set off into the mountains to look for the first clue. How could an eagle How could clouds not be in the sky? And Thomas knew he had never seen the skull and crossbones anywhere. Later, Emily puffed towards Thomas. There's no such thing as treasure, she laughed. I bet Emily followed Thomas on Thomas purpose. No she just so happened to pass by Thomas by pure coincidence and say, That treasure doesn't exist, you retard. Is it Henry? A mountain that looked like an eagle. Oh. Thomas was very excited. Was it made by Pinchy? I found the first clue. He's a good artist. Now I'll find the next one. The eagle's head would point the way. Suddenly, Thomas saw a track leading in the direction of the snow Where are you going, Thomas? Find the clouds that are not in the sky, whistled Thomas. How silly, snorted Jane, and he chucked away. If you want to make James believe you, then tell him that there was a rock that looks like an eagle above him. And then he saw them. the clouds not in the sky were reflections of clouds in the lake. Ah, Thomas is actually using his brain for once. 
I don't know if trains have brains. I mean, is it just stuffed in their smoke box? Oh, it's Harold. Hello, Harold. Oh, God, it's you. You have been unreliable, added Sir Topham Hat. Harold will now take the Admiral to the museum. Thomas but the clues! I don't care about the clues, Thomas. You're a stupid blue dunk off. Just like the other blue dunk off. Wait, what? Okay, now Harold's a prick. He may have been a prick back in season two through three, but prick Harold has returned. Thomas was actually kind of using his brain for once. Even though he wasn't doing what he was supposed to be doing, he, and he was finding out the clues. That's my skeleton head. Shut up, Emily. I will actually stick up the middle finger at you two right now. I followed all the clues he puffed proudly, and you have found the skeleton. Oh my God! How did he get there so quickly? Everyone was surprised. Emily isn't. She's just smiling like the prick she is. I thought that was her Tom Hat speaking for a second. You have made this the best opening ever. Thomas was very proud. He had been right to believe in Sophie's story. Okay, I'm gonna pause this because I'm actually watching this video on a playlist. Okay, uh, this episode was nice. It was nice going back to this, but yeah, Emily and James are pricks. No surprise. On to Big Strong Henry. Big Strong Henry. Oh, there's Molly. Winter was coming to the island of Sodor. Everyone was getting ready for the cold. Out winter. of all the characters that were introduced in the um, new series, like Neville, Billy, Dennis, etc., I think Molly was probably used the most in episodes. She made lots of cameos and had a couple of speaking roles. And look, there's George. He's actually doing work for once. Farmer McCall needs lots of bricks, iron, and concrete, booms the top of hat. I need a strong engine to fetch them. I'm sorry, but Fatty looks I ridiculous with that scarf hat and minions. You're not as strong as I am, Puff Gordon. I'll do the job, sir. Gordon okay, who's Henry stronger, Gordon or side. Henry? But Gordon They're both big engines, the but I don't know which one is stronger. Had thought for a moment. Eh, whatever. Gordon, you can do it. Henry, you can deliver the empty freight cars. Empty freight cars, wished Henry. Never mind, Henry. He's so depressed. We know you're big and strong. You could pull ten cars of sand, couldn't you, Pete Percy? Yes, I could, chuffed Henry. He also pulled twenty freight cars once in series you six. Could pull twenty cars of coal, wished Emily. I suppose so. Oh, that's a reference, I think. Henry. Wait, no, you could isn't. pull 50 freight cars, Wish Thomas, of iron and steel, because you're a big, strong Henry. Okay, that I disagree on. In the Great Race, he wasn't even able to pull those heavy loads of whatever during the strength competition. Gordon Wish grandly, and 
and he set off to fetch the bricks, concrete, and iron for Farmer McCole. Henry had delivered his empty freight cars. How can I show Gordon that I'm big and strong, he seems sadly. By pushing him off of a cliff. Or is that too Look, morbid? Henry, Puff Percy, if Gordon sees you pull five heavy cars, he'll see just how strong you are. Okay, how heavy are they? What's in them? He pulled the cars out of the sidings. Look how strong Henry is, Gordon, P. Percy. Put those freight cars back, Gordon Weesh. Those are for Farmer McCole. I am collecting them later. Oh. He's not as strong as you are, big strong Henry, Puff Percy. I mean, if I were Henry, even if Gordon was still a prick to me, I would still want to help Farmer McCole. I would bring those cars to I him. I like being big strong Henry, Henry thought. Henry saw Thomas waiting up ahead. Hang on, I'm gonna move Look, positions. There are lots of heavy freight cars. I was laying down, now I'm gonna sit. Here comes Gordon, whistled Thomas. And here comes big strong Henry, hooted Henry. Then there was trouble. The freight cars were very heavy. Once Why is there no break, man? Them rolling, they stop. Oh, I love this part. <laughs> oh, I love the scream. <laughs> That's the reason why Michael Brandon is better than Michael Angelus. I bet Angelus. Whatever. I'll repronounce his last name. Whoa! Henry, boom, Sir Topham Hat. Take those hay bales back to where you found them. One car at a time. Yes, sir. Yeah, but I just think you know, take a while to put those things back on the freaking rails. Henry had never felt so miserable. Henry's been miserable. More miserable before in the past. Now, Gordon, whom Sir Topham had, you can go and collect Farmer McCall's cows. Wait, I'm scared of cows! Cole's men had loaded the cows into Gordon's trucks. Gordon was feeling very proud of himself. Pa! Poor old Henry. <laughs> <laughs> Gordon sounded evil. Poor old Henry. <laughs> he was laughing so much, he didn't see that the car doors hadn't been shut properly. Are you kidding me? Hello, Henry, whistled Gordon. Hello, Gordon. You Henry. poor old sap. Looks like Henry was about to sneeze. Are leaving your cars, Gordon. Henry puffed. Oh no, wish Gordon. What am I going to do? Fetch Edward then Henry or Percy. They know how to deal with cows, cows unlike you. The hay bales on his car. Suddenly, an idea flew into Henry's funnel. Henry chuffed slowly along. The hungry cows followed him. They wanted to eat the hay from his freight car. They followed Henry all the way to They're the not following shed. him, they're just teleporting to him. Farmer McCall was very pleased. Mmm, Gordon ticked. That night, Thomas and Percy spoke to Henry. We're sorry we got you into trouble, Thomas tooted. I shouldn't have wanted to be big, strong Henry, hooted Henry. Now you're even better, whistled Emily. You really are very helpful, Henry. Henry smiled. Even the strongest engine needs a little help sometimes, chuffed Henry. Don't you agree, Gordon? 
Bruh, gore and salty. <laughs> Good old Henry. Shut up. Okay. Anyways, now that I'm done with those episodes, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch some Thomas and Friends on Nick Jr. But this is on right now, so I have to wait a couple of minutes. Frick. Oh, Philip. <laughs>